friends, how's it going? It's me, Betty Jean. For today's video, I thought it would be fun to just sit down and chat and swatch my colorful highlighters. I don't know why I felt like doing this. I just kind of did. And it's funny because like as I was separating my colorful and my regular ones, I have a pretty even divide of regular highlights and more colorful highlights. So I thought that was pretty interesting. This video is basically just going to be any face highlight that I have that isn't like a peach or a white or a champagne or a gold, things that have more of like a fun color or shift to them. Maybe this video is kind of pointless, but maybe it'll also give you ideas if you are interested in delving into the world of more colorful highlights, maybe you'll enjoy this. I love a good colorful face highlight. I feel like sometimes it can really tie a look together. It can add a nice pop of color if you're doing something more neutral. You can use them as a fun inner corner highlight with a really any look ever. You can put them on the lid. There are so many options with colorful highlights highlights and I just wanted to show them some love today. Also really quick before we hop into it, I did film this look. It's part of my three looks one palette with the Anastasia Mini Norvina, this one. I always forget the name of it. Mini Pro Pigment Volume 3 Palette. That is already up on my channel if you're interested. I don't have really anything else left to say so I guess let's just hop right into it. I only have two that are in loose form so let's just go over those first and get them out of the way. At the end of the video I will do a zoomed in close-up shot of my swatched arm just so you know. This first one is from Apocalyptic Beauty. It's called It's Showtime and it is a green highlight. It's so incredibly green. I actually haven't worn this in quite a while but it's just such a pretty green shift. I don't know how well you can see that from far away. I'll probably try to just build these swatches up so that they're as pigmented as humanly possible for you. But it is a pretty green shift to it. It's more of like a minty tone. It's really cute. Like I said, I haven't played with this one in a while. I actually kind of frankly forgot I had this one, but it's really fun and I feel like it plays really nicely as just like that soft mint on the cheeks without it looking too overly green. I don't know if that particular one is still available. I know I got that one in a subscription box long ago. It might be a standalone available product, but it also could have just been exclusive to the subscription box. The next one I have is called Pink Lightning. It's from Sydney Grace. I actually got this as a gift from a subscriber and I don't know if I've used it more than like once. I can't remember. This is another one I think it just kind of got buried and I forgot about it. So let's see what this looks like. Maybe it'll inspire me to use it coming up. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, look at that. Again, I will zoom in at the end, but that is so pretty. I hope you can see that. It might be a little too pigmented for me to use as a highlight, but that might be a really pretty kind of blush highlight fusion kind of feel. That's really lovely. All right, let's dive into my pressed highlights, which are all the rest of them. This first one is from Soul Body. It's in the shade Pink Champagne. It looks like this. I love the way this looks. It's really pretty on the body. It's really pretty on the cheeks. It's definitely a pretty strong pinky gold kind of shift, but I think it's so pretty. I just love the way this one applies and it just, it's so glowy and lovely. I love these Soul Body highlights so much. I have like three shades of them, I think. The next one I have from Soul Body is called Soft Pink. This one is much smaller. I actually kind of wish they were all this size because I like this size a lot more. And this one is what it says it's Soft Pink. It's on my cheeks today. This one, I would almost argue that it's more of like a neutral color, but it is technically pink, so that's why I'm including it in this video. But I don't wear this one with the intention of it looking like a crazy colorful highlight or anything. It's literally what it says. It's a soft pink highlight. It's there at the bottom. And it's. It, I feel like it's the most subtle compared to all of these so far. Right, I tried to build that up even more so maybe you can see it a little bit better. But yeah, there we have it. <laughs> the softest one out of all of these. Let's get into my Kaleidos ones. They have six of them, but I'm talking about five in this video because Ray Rider is just more of a champagne. I didn't feel like I needed to include that in this video. Let's start with Comet Catcher. It's so beautiful. I love this one so incredibly much. Let me just try to get this swatch built up before I show it to you or we're going to be sitting here all day while I try to get the swatch built up. It is right here at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see because that pink shift only shows through when the light hits it just right. Oh, but it's so ethereal looking on the cheekbones. I absolutely love this one. It's so pretty. Next, let's go in with Star Surfer. This one's just a really soft pink as well. I think it's going to be a little bit more impactful than that soft pink one from Soul Body, but it's still very much just like a more 
subdued one. This is another one I could probably argue pulls more just like a neutral, like normal looking highlight. Not necessarily neutral, but just more normal. But it is technically still pink, so that's why it's here. I do like this one a lot, though. It's really easy to wear with pretty much anything. Let's do something a little more exciting. Laser Glazer is so fun. It's so intimidating in the pan. It looks like it's going to be so crazy dark. But even on my pale skin, it's just so pretty. It's going to look very pigmented as well in this swatch just because I'm really building it up. But just using it on the cheekbones with the brush very lightly... Oh my gosh, it's so pretty and has the coolest green shift to it. It's right there at the bottom. Oh, I love it. It looks like there's going to be way too much background pigment, but like I said, just like a nice quick little sweep. It's so beautiful, and I love how it's such a different type of green than that first one. It's just such a unique highlight. This is one of the most unique things I own <laughs> in my makeup collection. Next, let's do Skywalker. This is another one that I feel like is pretty easy to wear with pretty much anything, but it does have a pretty significant blue shift. This is what the pan looks like. I really like this one a lot. There it is at the bottom. You can see that really nice icy blue shift in there. I love this highlight so much. It's so pretty with blue and purple looks. I adore it. This next one is Solar Sailor, and you could argue, again, that this one's a little bit more of a normal highlight, but I feel like this one just has such a strong gold blue shift. It's so unique. That's what the inside looks like there. Can I just talk about the fact how I love that Kaleidos put the extra effort into making each component like individual and special it's so cool this one again is going to look really pigmented on my pale skin but when it's just like a light little dusting on the cheekbones you get that color shift without it being like too much it's down here i just love that beautiful gold and it has that slight hint of blue background it reminds me a little bit of halo from give me glow but i feel like halo is a little bit different i'm going to swatch that one next for comparative reasons all right it's give me glow's halo this is the first product i ever discovered from them it's just such a pretty blue gold shift it's so hard to explain you have to see it to believe it oh man it's so pretty Ugh, give me glow's highlight formula blows me away every time there it is at the bottom so it's quite similar to solar sailor I feel like you could even get away with not owning both of them for sure, but that's kind of where they're at. I feel like Halo, you might be able to see that blue shift just a tiny bit more, but they're both just so insanely gold. It's really cool. But I feel like because they have that slight blue shift, that's why I included them in this. Lethal Cosmetics, this one is called Ionic. This is such a pretty pinky shift highlight. I adore this one as well. Let me get over here so maybe you can actually watch me swatch now that I'm getting closer to this part of my arm. But yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. I feel like it looks really subtle in the swatch down here, but on the cheeks, it's actually a really pretty, very vibrant pink color. Not vibrant, like it's not like a hot pink. It's just very impactful. It's really soft and smooth. It's not glittery, but I feel like it just just has such a lovely pink glow to it. I really, really like it, but it looks so subtle, especially next to all these crazy ones. I have two more like individualized in their component highlights, and then I have some single ones to share with you. We're gonna talk about the two Disco lighters from Nomad Cosmetics. They're in their new Studio 54 collection. You can use code BEAUTBEAN10, I believe it's in the description box if you wanna save money. It's not affiliated, it just saves you money. But these are so exciting. They're really fun, colorful highlights. I love them. I've worn these quite a few times already, and I'm really enjoying them. This first one, one is called Hot Shot. It's this pink one with this blue shift. Ooh, these are so fun. These ones, again, look very pigmented in the swatch, but they actually work really nicely on the cheekbones if you just kind of dust it on with your highlight brush. I love how strong you can see that blue shift amidst the pink. It's just so pretty. And this one is called, what are you called? Disco Nights, right here. Oh, it's so pretty. This one I was really scared of. I didn't think it would work as a highlight on my pale skin, but I actually feel like it works nicely as long as I use a lighter hand. It's such a pretty peachy gold orangey kind of color. There it is down there. You can see that really strong shift of gold kind of going through that orange. Oh, it's so pretty and unique. I love it. We're just going to continue up my arm here so it's as straight of a line as possible as you're as we're doing the comparisons, but we're going to go over finally my Bitter Lace Beauty Candy Coated Highlights. I've talked about these so many times. I absolutely adore them. They are to die for. They're so glittery. They're so colorful. They work beautiful on the face, beautiful as eyeshadows. I love these. They smell like Smarties. It's so good. This one is called Cupcake Crush. Beautiful pink. And these are so stunning. They're so pigmented and pretty. Look at that. Oh, I love this range of colors on my arm right now. It's so pretty. This one is called Lollipop Love. This one is so cute. It's kind of like lavender-y periwinkle-ish. It's really unique and it's really fun. And I really like it. Just look how pretty that color is. 
Oh, I can't get enough of it. This next one is Pastel Pucker. This one is one of my favorites out of the bunch. I love it. They're all my favorites out of the bunch, though. It's so hard to pick a favorite. All right, Pastel Pucker coming down here. This one's just so mermaidy to me. It has that strong, like, bluish shift, but also that green shift. Oh, it's just so unique and beautiful. This one is Sugar Sweets. I really like this one. This one I find easy to wear with most looks, but keep in mind it is like a fun colored highlight. That's up to your discretion on if you think it's like the most wearable or not. So it definitely has that strong pinky purple kind of shift through it but also kind of green. They're all just so unique. She did such a good job with this collection. This one is called Taffy Tart. This is the only one that I'm personally not like comfortable wearing on my face because it's a little bit too pigmented, but it is stunning on the eyes. It's just so insanely blue with that really pretty purple shift. I adore it. I adore all of them if you can't tell, but look how stunning that is. I think on anyone with even slightly deeper skin than me, it would look beautiful as a face highlight. And the last one is Watermelon Whip. I love this one. The pink uh, shift in this is so beautiful. I'm, like getting distracted with my words here. This one's kind of like a yellowy green and it has just such a pretty pink shift in it. I just love how beautiful and unique they are. It's so hard for me to pick a favorite because they're just so pretty. Ugh. Okay, let me zoom in and give you a close up shot of all these highlights. All right, those were all of my colorful highlights. Like I said, I don't know like how much point this video had other than really just to swatch and have fun. Maybe this will answer any questions you had if you were curious about any of my colorful highlights. Maybe it was just fun to watch because you also love colorful highlights. If you are a colorful highlight lover, I would love to know which one is your absolute favorite. Do you have a favorite brand for them? Do you have a favorite one in general? I would love to hear your thoughts. I know someone's gonna ask. I highly doubt that I'm gonna do a video on my other highlights because I have already done a highlight collection and declutter back in December I believe and I just feel like showing off my regular ones is just not as exciting so either rewatch that one or just wait for me to do another highlight collection and declutter eventually um, I just wanted to really give some love to my colorful highlights I hope you enjoyed this video if you made it to the end leave me a rainbow emoji and if you liked it give it a thumbs up if you're not already please hop over to my Instagram it's beauty and follow me there I post every single day and don't forget to subscribe I'm posting most days here as well thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one okay bye Bye.